Hey everyone, what is up? This is GroovaSex, Roger, and welcome back everyone to what I believe is going to be the final turn of Can You Play Descent Solo? Yes, and um, a Fat Goblin Encounter 2. That was a pretty big turn of events um, on the last few turns. I want to clarify something so you guys know. Um, when a hero is knocked out, they do take full exertion. Um, so that was just a clarification, um, and I was right about that. So, and I replaced Spligs, all those tokens with that to reflect, you know, he has 13 hits um, health. Um, he's got a couple dash cards that I'm sure is going to come in handy that he got at the beginning of the game. And so we're just going to get this on. Do me a favor, though. For the people who are on the fence about picking up Descent, I have some things I haven't told you yet just like to, to make it more enjoyable and something to consider if you're going to do this about just using um, a full set of dice for the brains of your Overlord or Baylor. And something a little variant I thought of called Life Force, um, where each hero has Life Force. But we're going to get into that. Come back for the final thoughts, and I only keep you a few minutes with that. But I think you'll like this idea I thought of when you're soloing it. Okay, um, I looked at this layout here. I'm going to say I really don't know. I don't know if these heroes are going to kill Splig. I, you know, it, it, you see his dice roll, so we don't know what's going to happen. So we will see. Um, now, when a, when a hero's knocked out, you have line of sight. I want to make sure that's that's in the rules. Um, however, say Averick revived Syndrel, um, Jane Fairwood would not have line of sight on the Shadow Dragon, and that is my strategy, is to, um, I don't know if she's going to be able to pull off five damage, but that that's that's my, um, oh, I'm sorry, she was back here because I was going to move up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move her up, one, I'm going to spend an exertion, so um, I, I don't use one of my actions. So now she has two full actions. So um, she is going to try, attempt to shoot down this shadow dragon. And let's see, plenty of range, two. Um, her U shortbow will give her one, plug in one more. So um, that's three damage coming at the shadow dragon. Shadow Dragon, of course, gets two gray dice, and it's not that awesome. He blocked every single one. All right, just shrug that right off. And her second and final attack, and that is, that's a good roll. So we have a surge, um, plenty of range, it's three damage. With the surge, of course, we'll add one more, so four. And the Shadow Dragon has to roll defense. And he blocks three of that. Wow. So he will only take one damage. He's up to five hits. And um, we're going to turn over her activation card. Jane Fairwood is finished this turn. Okay. Um, now comes, um, you know, this is, if you don't know, this is going to how we're going to revive Sindrel. Normally, if Sindrel just, you can stand up as an action. That's all you can do. However, a hero can revive another hero. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Averick to use one of his actions to revive Sindrel. So what happened is we take the, the token off, come over here, grab um, Sindrel's figure, put her back up. She's up. Now what you do is you grab two of the red dice here, and we're going to roll. And whatever is rolled, that's what she recovers. Any surges, that would be exertion. That's pretty darn good. Okay, so she's going to get five health back. And we're going to remove one exertion. So when it comes to her turn, she'll be fresh, good to go, all that. So back here to Averick, his final action is going to be, of course, going to go after the Shadow Dragon. And so um, let's see what happens. Okay, three. Oh, you know what, though? Remember, he needs a surge. Totally misses that. Averick is done. It is up to Sindrel, who is freshly revived. As you see, Splig is waiting him back to jet past all of them. But right now they're blocked. They can't, you know, you can't do that. So um, Sindrel will use, of course, her attack. She could use one exertion, and I am going to, I am going to use that one. Now we have rage here. And what rage is, is um, it's an action. Perform an attack with a melee weapon. This attack gains plus one. So we're going to use this. We've got to pay with an exertion. She's fully exerted again. So we can add um, one to this roll. 
if we hit with a surge. What a waste. Total, you know, you need the surge to get through, I guess, the, the shadow armor or the dragon. So that is a failed attempt. We can't use that again. She's overly exerted, so this is just a straight roll. And we got a surge. Okay, so right there, there's four damage. The surge gets through. Um, what would be awesome is, could you imagine if she did the killing blow? And he, he would have to roll totally no shields. Let's see. Blocks two of it. So that shadow dragon is sitting at seven health now. Unfortunately, that's it. The heroes are done. Now it is the overlord's turn. So let's do something here. Let's cut the deck. This may be the final turn. So you know, you know me. Never, never cheat. Let's put that back here and let's take this card here. The possible final card. Can't get that card back in here. Final card. Critical blow. Play this card when a monster attacks a hero after rolling dice. Um, so, what could happen here? Using Baylor's strategy, or what an overlord would do, looking at this situation, I would say, um, now if, this, if Syndrome didn't have that much hit points, and this is just another tip maybe to put, it, say that, that, that Averick and Syndrome were about the same on hit points, I would random that off, you know, give, give yourself a choice, something different to do, and we're, we actually change dice here. So I would use a six-sider and assign one to three to Sindrel and four to six to Averick. Whatever came up, the Shadow Dragon would attack. However, I think a strategy that would be used by Baylor or an Overlord would be go to, to go to Sindrel. And that's what we're going to do and possibly um, use this critical blow. Again, play this card when a monster attacks a hero after rolling dice. So um, for the Shadow Dragon, it's going to attack Sindrel. He gets a red and blue. One, two, three. And let's see. Oh, and you need a surge. You would need a surge to do this. And they don't have a surge. So that will not work. Sorry. So, but anyway, she has to block three damage from the Shadow Dragon. Blocks two of it. And so over here, one, two. So she's up. She's got three hit points left. So the Shadow Dragon's done. I would say that it's not going to move. I think that's pretty good strategy for an Overlord to play. Leave the dragon right there. Um, next up before Splig would be this Goblin Archer. And the Goblin Archer... Um, gets to roll a blue and yellow and again tar oh you know what actually no we would have to do this because remember line of sight so the shadow dragon would have to back up and now it could take a shot at Sindrel. so let's see how this goes sorry I didn't realize that forgot so I kind of reverted a bit um, let's see what happens Wow, that's a really huge hit. Plenty of range, two surges, and you know what? Syndrome's probably gonna go down. He could use the surge, so that's plus three. There, there's plus three. And then he also has, oh wow, this is a massive hit. The other surge for plus two. That, I don't think I've ever seen a damage that high. Five, six, seven, and she's knocked out, right? Why even roll? So hopefully you guys saw you did that. We used the one surge for the for the overlord card, use another surge for that. We're gonna roll, it's not gonna go good. And one. She is totally knocked out yet again from the goblin. That's gone. Put this back there. And now we'll have to fill up um, her wounds real quick. Leave two there and put a five. And um, I think you would just stay there for that churn. Now for Splig. 
Splig, of course, has a move. He could move or attack or move twice. What do you think Baylor would do? Tell him to totally move. And use dash. Play this card when activating a monster during your turn. That monster may perform an additional move action this turn in addition to his normal two actions. So he's going to move. He's going to get nine spaces because his movement is three. And I looked this up already. See how there's another dash? You cannot um, use two of them on the same. Um, I definitely know I'm the hero, and I, I believe it's the same for the monster. So I couldn't play dash twice on that. So let's move him um, nine spaces. One, two, three. Wait. Oh, he's right here. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he's right there. Next turn, that's all he has to do is get to the exit. And um, he gets another Overlord card, though, because remember, they knocked out, so I forgot to draw that. Frenzy, play this card when activating a monster during turn. That monster may perform an additional attack action this turn in addition to its normal two actions. Put that there, discard dash, and we're just gonna keep rolling with this, okay? Um, so this, I don't know if the heroes can win this, can they? I don't know, we're gonna see. So we're gonna go right into turn seven. Um, I think we did over everything, everyone activated. Okay, we're good. And discard this one. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this and I think just from this you can see you can pretty much solo this game. We're going to reactivate the heroes. And, you know, what I'm dying to do, I, I'm going to try to... What does Jane have? I'm going to try to take a shot at Splig with Jane. And so she is going to use all her exertion. One, two, three. Okay, so we're going to go with Jane. One, two, three. And she does, I know, you know what, she doesn't. Or was she right there? One, two, and three. One, two, no, she can't move. One, two, and three. And, I don't know, I think that she does, what do you think? From that corner to this corner? Guys, you know me, I'm very precise with this. Um... What do you think? I think that's a legal shot. Okay. I'm going to say that that is, you guys can comment. I think that that's a legal shot. She is going to use her two actions. Let's put the exertion here. One, two, three. I don't want to second guess this. You can comment. I think that is... Looks like it comes right to the edge of that, but actually gets to his edge, I think. Comment if I'm wrong. He's probably going to get out. All right, so two actions. First one. Um, surge. Plus one. Three. Splig gets only a gray die. He has not me, this special, but he would have to be by um, one of his um, companions to use that. So... And he just laughs. He just laughs at her shooting. Last roll. Same situation. Add one, three, splig. Well, we did hit him for two at least. Okay, splig, there you go. Two. And then, um, let's see, Averick. Averick can move four. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. You know what? He's going to... Wait. Check this out. I can get an extra move with Sindrel. But you know what? She's not going to be able to hit him for that much. Well, you never know. Use during your turn. Choose a hero within three spaces of you. You and that hero may um, each immediately perform a move action. This is in addition to the two actions. So basically, you can get a free move. So same scenario. We're going to revive... For Averick. He's going to revive Sindrel. She's going to turn this way already, getting ready to run. We're going to roll the two red dice, see what she recovers. Five health. And I'm going to use her heroic feat. 
to get an extra move. Well, I, I'm sorry, we gotta do that on her turn. So let's finish here. Um, Averick, he has one more action. For the heck of it, he's gonna attack the Shadow Dragon. They can kill that. Total miss. He is done. Jane is done. Last one, she's up. Now, Cinderella will activate her heroic feat. Again, she'll be able to move, um, um, perform a move action. This is in addition to the two actions each hero receives on his turn. So, we can move twice, basically. So, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, right in the face of Splig. One final hit. Again, red and blue die. Total miss. Okay, it's all done. That was it. Overlord. Dark Might. Play this card after you roll dice for an attack. Add one to the result. And guys, I think that's over. But before, Splig, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, he is going to have one attack on Cinderella before he runs out. This would be sad if he killed her. But I would say an Overlord, look at him. Wouldn't he just kill a hero or knock a hero out before he runs out and then use Dash to run? Let's see. Here goes Splig, blue and red. Four, no surge. Cinderella rolls, blocks. One of it, still three hit points. One, two, three, she has 10. Splig will use his movement. One, two, three, and look at that. Dash, that hero may perform an additional move action. One, two, Three. Game over. Guys, that was, hope you liked that. That was um, pretty exciting, I thought. That was, I really thought I was going to take out that Shadow Dragon, but not so much. Okay, listen, I'm going to start um, uploading this, and I'm going to do a final thought for you guys, just a quick one. If you if you liked what you saw, I'm actually trying to even, you know, refine it a little bit more, but I have some good info for you. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed the scent. Can you play it solo? I think from what you saw, yeah. So please come back for final thoughts and I'll give you some good info. Talk to you soon. Remember, Descent, Journeys in the Dark, second edition.